a different world out there this morning, guys, than what we left, had last night, that's for sure. Opening the door to a different day. Back to winter. We really didn't get much snow, though. We got... I don't know, what do you think? Maybe... Two inches. It's very fluffy. It's very light. It's a beautiful snow. It's acting like February. I mean, this is what it should be like. Henry's warming up here. Getting ready to make a trek to the town of C. I've got three classes to visit today. Spend an hour and a half there. And then that's it for the day. That's my obligations to work. Yeah, these windows got, got iced over last night, so we're melting those right now. It looks like we're just about there. All right, we still actually have a little time. You know me, I get myself ready with more than plenty of time. So, I think we'll... I think we'll just go back in here for a little bit. Make sure we got everything together in here. You gotta make the switch at the door here. Switch from the uh, outdoor shoes to the slippers. And you do it right on the mat and you do it quickly so that you don't have a mess. That's how we work things in the winter. Oh, it's toasty warm in here. It's a bit nippy out today, but I think it's the healthy way for everything to be, you know, this time of year. Hope these roads are all right. visiting three pre-k classrooms and then stopping by to visit the other teachers where I'm going to be doing uh, a kindergarten residency and a second grade residency. I really hope this is alright. I just, you might be able to see that in the rear view mirror. There's an accident back there. There's a car way off the road, like jammed into like bushes, you know, like it's crazy. Very strange. Hoping for a nice safe drive over the mountain. Turned out to be a beautiful day, huh? I mean, it's just getting going here. I thought I saw, like, today was supposed to be cloudy. But then again, maybe not. Certainly isn't right now. I just think that blue sky, man, that just lights up the day, doesn't it? That blue goes so well with the white, especially a fresh white. Yeah, this is good. They really, really, they're on top of this road. Just because it's so dangerous. I don't know if it looks it or not, but it is. It's not right now. They probably salt the heck out of it or do whatever they do to these roads these days. <clears throat> Alright, kids. We're dropping down into Sea town How'd that sound? We made it do take two. Here we go. Dropping down into Sea Town. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. This little town is surrounded by mountains. And I grew up in it. And this is what formed my thinking, you know, and my want to be outside. Played in the woods and the rivers and the streams. Well, there was only one river. The Hudson, same one that goes by my house. Just further on down. This was a freaking playground if you love the outdoors. Wow. The building we're going to today, the grounds we're going to, which I've talked about before, I'm sure, in videos. This was a woods. This was Eggleston Street Woods. This was my stomping grounds, my playground. This is where I learned my skills 
for being in the woods. Everything from building the fire to building the cabin. How to fish, you know, how to do everything, you know. Cook, cook meals out there. We cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner, man. Stayed overnight out there. It was a blast. I had that my entire childhood. And then about, I don't know how many years it's been there now. It's probably been there 25, 30 years. Wow. I'd like to know exactly. They plowed it all over, man. And they built a school there. The elementary school, the school I'm going to today. And then they, they put in, you know, athletic fields. And it is gone. The funny thing is, the area where our cabin was built 40, 50 years ago, 40 years ago, uh, that area is still there. And I want to go out there. I'm always talking about that. I'm trying to get some of the old group to go with me, you know, it just hasn't worked out yet. There's not much there, but supposedly it's there. I guess it looks different, but I would love to see it. Man, it's beautiful, huh? I don't want to get on the sides of the road there. Try to stay out of that snow, you know? Look at that, it looks really nice. That's a winter scene, huh? The grounds we're going on to today, man. They hold many spirits, many, 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 many spirits. Many, many a generation grew up and played in that woods, man. Well, these guys didn't get the snow either. That's good. They haven't lost their snow yet, though. They still are in snow out here from the last snowstorm. It's just a whole different world out here, man. I just think that's crazy. I mean, I have not been in the world of snow for probably almost a month, you know, or whatever. More than two weeks, you know. Most of the winter, no snow, and these guys have always had it. The ground has been white since probably their first snowfall or second snowfall. A development in there. It's a big change in the town to see. The old Milligan Homestead and the new Milligan Homestead and the in between Milligan Homestead. Isn't that nice? I think so. And there is my mother's mountain. Mama's mountain. Mm, it's beautiful. It looks majestic this morning. So, man, this was just a walk into the woods right here. You know, this was all woods behind these houses. There's another shot of that mountain. That's a good shot of it. This is the school that I was in today. It sits on what used to be the forest I used to play in. And if you were to go down that way, that's about where my cabin is out in the woods back there. You just would not believe the memories I have about this space. This was all one big woods. None of this existed here before. <laughs>